me here. I'm Jason, this is Jason's Guitar School and in today's lesson what we're going to do is one that I was requested and it is Red Haired Mary. So let's get into it. Okay, so there are a few chords we're going to need. The standard chords G, D, E minor, C um, and D is optional but the chord they use in the song is D7 so I'll be showing you both. So if you know those chords, skip ahead to where we get into the song. If not, stick with me here and I'll quickly show you those chords now. So we'll start off with our G chord. So G is the second box A string. It's the third box big E and little E string. Then we have our E minor chord, which is in the second box A and D strings, or five and four. Now, D is optional. Like I was saying, in the song they use D7. You can use D if you don't like D7, but it does sound better with D7. So D first is the second box G and little E, third box B. And D7 is like a mirrored version of that. It's the first box B, second box G and E. And then finally we need a C chord. So it's the first box B, second box D, third box A. Now the strum pattern we're going to be using is your standard country strumming pattern, which is down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, one, two, three, four. And that's it. All we need to do now is put it in order. So I'm going to bring the song up here. It has two parts. We have a verse and a chorus. Now he starts off the song with three verses and then goes into the chorus after that. So for every verse you come across in the song, just play this first again and again. And for every chorus, just play the chorus section. Um, so we're going to start off in a G chord and we go down, down, one, three, four. So one full strumming pattern. Then it goes down, down, into your D or D7. And then back to your G for a full strumming pattern. Down, down, and then two full strumming patterns in C. Okay, so that should sound like this. Just like that. Okay, so um, next we are starting off in our G chord again. It goes G into that D7 back into G. So G, one full strumming pattern. Down, down, one, two, three, four. Down, down, D7. And then we have um, G again for one full strumming pattern. And then D7 for down down. And two full Gs. Okay, so in the, um, in the start of the line, the D7 comes after you because it goes G for two strums, then D7 for two strums. But in the second half of that line, it goes D7 for two strums, and then you go into the G and continue on. So that second line would sound like this. Emphasize those down strums on your D or D7 that you're going to play. It'll really just bring out that change. Um, also, it does happen on um, the word. So when you're putting it to the words, um, it does that D7 comes above a word, so you can actually just strum really loud on that word and then go straight into the next. So you're not changing in between words or halfway through a word, or you're taking a pause and changing, it's changing on the word. Um, and that is the whole verse. So when you're playing the verse, it should sound something like this when you play. doing there was I was messing up the second strum pattern so um, I was putting my own spin on it I was keeping the same timing and I was just um, adding in extra up strums in between the down downs so I'd go down up down up up down up so you can always change that once the timing is the same so practice the basic strum pattern first and once you have it then you can always elaborate and put your own spin on it once the beats remain the same so most of the chords here are two beats so you have to keep within that one two beat range so that's the entire verse let's move on to the chorus now Right, the chorus is much easier. Every chord does a strumming pattern except for the last two, so we'll get to those at the end. It starts off nice and easy with your G chord, one full strum pattern. Down, down, one, two, three, four. E minor, down, down, one, two, three, four. Back to your G, down, down, one, two, three, four. And then into C, down, down, one, two, three, four. And then on the next line, G, E minor, G. Down, down, one, two, three, four. Down, down, one, two, three, four. Down, down, one, two, three, four. D or D7 for two strums. And then two full Gs to finish. Okay, so the strum pattern I'm using just to mess it up is um, the first chord I go down, down, one, two, three, four, the second one, one, two, three, four, up, down, up. You find that strum pattern happens a lot when you have two chords together in a country song, like Wagon Wheel. So I think I do have a tutorial up on Wagon Wheel, you can go and watch it and see what I use for a strum pattern there, just 
when you have two chords connected together. Um, or you can stick with the basic down, down, one, two, three, four for every chord. But if I have a G and a G beside each other, I do a strum pattern for the first one, down, down, one, two, three, four. And for the second one, I add in the one, two, three, four, up, down, up. So if I stick with the strum pattern, it sounds like this. And if I mix it up, it sounds like this. Okay? So it's up to you which you choose to do. So that is the whole chorus, that's the whole verse, and that's the whole song. Um, guys, thanks for watching today. Keep those requests coming in. If anything was unclear in this, just <laughs> put those comments in underneath. Let me know. And um, if you want the words to go along with it, I can do a video later on where we do a sing-along. So I do have a few videos where we match the strums up with the words, make it easier to sing, and you just talk your way through. But for now, that is it. And uh, Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button if you liked it. And as always, I'll see you next time.